Good morning, everybody. This is James Roos from Ingenious Networks Europe from Eindhoven in the Netherlands. Uh, I thank you all for uh, being present in this uh, uh, webinar. Um, I just give, uh, want to give a, a short introduction of myself. I'm James Roos. I'm uh, working for Ingenious now for almost four years. I'm a product manager and I am responsible for uh, giving you information about our products. And so today we have our uh, 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 the start of our second series of uh, webinars for the End Partner uh, program. And of course, everybody is welcome to know uh, to, to find some information about Ingenious if you want to know Ingenious better. Your, everyone is welcome to join this webinar. So today we will start with uh, uh, the first webinar of the second series, and it's uh, the general product introduction. Um, in general, all the presentations uh, will be uh, synchronized with the first series, but of course, all information will be updated with new products, new technologies, and so it's like uh, it's it's very useful even to repeating uh, to follow all the webinars just to let you uh, become updated with all the information that we can share with you all. So today, a general product introduction. Um, let's go to the next slide. Uh, today we will talk about uh, all our products. I will go through uh, the whole product line. And yeah, so I will just start here. And uh, if you look at this slide, uh, you find that we have uh, three main categories. Uh, the first one is solutions. The second one, and actually uh, currently the biggest one, is the standalone. And third, we have also uh, Sovo. In solution, we have our uh, ingenious neutron solution. And I put this word powered by Easy Master. I put it in gold uh, because this is something new. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this as well. And uh, besides that, we have. Uh, one sec, one sec, one sec, I hear something here. Okay. Okay, let's continue here. Um okay, where were we? Okay, um yeah, so like I said, we have our Newton solution which is uh, uh, our first uh, solution that we have. And uh, we have a standalone and we have um, our Soho line. So let's start with, 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 with a short introduction of Ingenious. If I can go to the next slide. So um, before I want to go through the products, I would like to briefly tell you who is actually Ingenious. Well, Ingenious is a, a subsidiary brand of Snow International, a stock-listed Taiwanese company founded in 1975 with main business and production of telephony and networking devices. The brand Ingenious is established in 1993 and since, uh, since then, Ingenious focus on wireless networking devices like access points and routers. So besides this, Ingenious also have telephones, but this product line is not to be used in a uh, European region. Uh, we, used to be, uh, uh, we used to provide the best component in any wireless solution. If you talk about our standalone products, and we have years of experience in this. On top of that, in, in 2014, we launched our uh, Ingenious Neutron series, which is a managed uh, wireless solution. And in 2015, actually now we are busy launching uh, uh, the, the, the Easy Master, which will be 
a, 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 a addition to our neutron solution to make it become a distributed network management solution. Just to let you know, um, Ingenious uh, is a worldwide company with headquarters in Taiwan. Also, the R&D is in Taiwan. And um, we have uh, offices all over the world um, in the US, in the in, 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 uh, Middle East, also covering Africa. Uh, we have office in Singapore. And I am from the European office in Eindhoven in the Netherlands, where we also have a sales office and a marketing office here. So the USPs for Ingenious, uh, we work generally, generally in, in the unlicensed band. We have products uh, based on Wi-Fi or the Wi-Fi standard. Um, so we have uh, products in 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Um, we focus on the whole, the whole uh, line of, of uh, the, the IEEE standard, including 11AC. And we actually are uh, the, uh, one of the first uh, manufacturers that provide an 11AC uh, outdoor solution uh, in the world. And we focus on uh, improved sensitivity and stable and reliable uh, hardware. And this year, we also have our uh, distributed network management solution, which we call the Neutron Series, powered by Easy Master. So let's start there. Uh, this, this product line, the Neutron Series powered by e Easy Master, is going to be the product line that we are focusing on. Uh, from historical, we are strong in standalone, but now we are going to focus and probably we're going to move to this kind of uh, solution. Um, to have a managed uh, a wireless solution like we have in our Neutron Series, uh, uh, that's one thing. But um, uh, for the people who already know Ingenious, uh, since we last year introduced the Neutron Series, um, the Neutron Series is based on an, uh, a switch which you, uh, from where you can manage <clears throat> 50 access points. But what, what if I want to manage more access points? Or uh, what if my deployment is not in, in, in one place? And, 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 and yeah. So what I have, what, what if I want to have a managed solution, but I only have a limited budget? So the answer is the ingenious neutron solution powered by Easy Master. Based on the, the neutrons, the traditional neutron series where we have a switch, we have a AP managed solution and we have an all-in-one uh, access point management switch. We have an indoor, we have indoor and outdoor managed access points. Uh, it is for uh, deployments up to 50 APs per neutron switch. For small, small, medium offices, hospitality, education, it's easy to install and easy configuration and easy monitoring. On top of that, we have our Easy Master. So in gold, I put some phrases in between. So with, if you have Easy Master on top of the deployment, then you will have a distributed management solution and up to 1000 AP control capacity with the software and even cross subnet. I will go back to that later. So how does the Neutron series work? Uh, as I explained, we have uh, a management switch, uh, one management switch, which can be combined if necessary with some other uh, sub switches to distribute your uh, to to extend your network and we have access points indoor and outdoor in the network the neutron series will work in this area of of your network so far um, the neutron series uh, can from one neutron management switch you can manage 50 access points So the main functions of the, of, the, of the EWS system are AP auto discovery, provisioning, wireless configuration, monitoring, and controlling the access points. So just going through this slide, this is the place where you have the Neutron series and uh, additional network services 
like in this uh, indicated here, uh, are not integrated in the management switch. Well, actually, we believe that certain functions could be done, should be done by dedicated devices like uh, 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 the, the authentication, the, the billing, captive portal, uh, logging services, uh, UTM, of course. Uh, uh, they should be done by an external uh, device that is dedicated to that. Uh, for example, you have uh, maybe you have a, a Ucopia access server or you have a SonicWall uh, UTM. Still, um, our Neutron series can seamlessly work with all these devices in the network. Okay, so this is about the 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 the, the general um, Neutron series. On top of that, with Easy Master, you can manage more access points. You can manage more of these kind of uh, solutions. You can manage with the Easy Master uh, uh, additionally. Okay. So basically, the EWS solution, the, the, the Neutron solution, is it has these kind of uh, as these uh, functions, and uh, with the Easy Master, we will um, uh, copy all the functions. The, cop the all the functions are copied into the Easy Master to take over the control function from the switch. And um, one sec, I go back. Um, so Easy Master will uh, will will take over the, the functions. So it looks like this. Um, if you have, for instance, let me see the control. Uh, if you have a, uh, uh, a setup like in the slide before, in this place, the Easy Master can take over the management from this cell, this deployment. But meanwhile, it can also go manage all the other. Um, uh, sites of the deployments. So, what is actually the Easy Master? So, Easy Master is a uh, a software that has to be uh, installed on a server. Uh, it can be uh, uh, locally, it can be uh, remotely, or even in the future, it will there will be also a cloud for, uh, version released. It's free software, and um, as I explained, to become a distributed network. The management can be cross sub subnet. So, like I explained, if you have multiple deployments on different places, the Easy Master can control the deployments from remotely, even over cross sub crossing subnets. So, you can integrate multiple uh, Neutron EWS setups with the Easy Master. And uh, uh, the capacity is to manage up to 1,000 access points with the uh, with the Easy Master. On top of that, there are some uh, additional functions to make the controlling function more reliable. Uh, because we have Smart Sync, we have Easy Redundancy to have the management function uh, 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 redundant to create a more reliable uh, environment. Well, um, the customers where I already talked with, they asked me, so uh, you say Easy Master copies all the functions of the switches. So does the Easy Master uh, replace the switch? Well, actually, the Easy Master does not, is not supposed to replace the switch. Easy Master is to make uh, the solution more complete and supposedly to be used as an add-on to the neutron switches. Uh, some features are to be uh, executed through a switch or in combination with the switch. Um, however, you can still manage access points directly with only the Easy Master, but you will not have all the features available. So in this uh, slide, it shows uh, the, the functions that uh, you will have if you will only use the switch as a traditional neutron solution. Uh, if you would only use the Easy Master, but supposedly this is how we initially want to set up the combination of using the switch with the Easy Master. So that means that you have 
the 1000 uh, access point management capacity from the easy master and you also have the smart sync redundancy and the complete topology view uh, and, and the other functions that belongs to the switch inside the whole deployment um, i will go quickly through uh, go to the next slide um, the next three webinars are going to be dedicated to the easy master so today I'm going. Uh, this is just a brief introduction. What is the Easy Master, and, and and I will go much more detailed into the functions and how everything works. I just want to point out in this presentation our unique uh, points of the total solution. And with the Easy Master, uh, the the Neutron series powered by Easy Master, um, yeah, the unique points are uh, scalability, mobility, affordability, and reliability. So. We integrated the controller into an L2 uh, PoE switch with, um, with only one switch and a few access points. You can already have a complete featured uh, management wire solution without the need for extra hardware or software. So you can scale up this solutions up to 1000 access points with our free Easy Master software. You can have the Easy Master running locally or remotely or remotely in the cloud for total mobile access and uh, you can access uh, the, the easy master interface from any place so the ingenious neutron service is without additional licenses uh, the software is free and uh, uh, no matter how many devices you want to uh, control uh, you want to manage uh, you, only, you only need to buy uh, the Neutron hardware, which is the, the switches and the, the access points. So with the Easy Master in combination with the Neutron switch, you have redundant network control. But even when losing the connection with the controllers, the access points will still keep doing the job in a reliable way. So, so far, a small introduction about Easy Master, uh, the, the, the Neutron series. Uh, powered by Easy Master. I'm just going through the, um, the product lineup. Um, so, if you look at the components for 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 the Neutron switch uh, for the for the Neutron series, we have the switch, we have the access points, and of course we have the free Easy Master software, which you have to run on a uh, on a PC or even in the cloud in, in the future. So we have our management switches, and uh, one new switch is, is coming very soon. Um, the first four models in this slide, uh, we already have for a while. And, but we see uh, the demand for smaller deployments. So we came with a, we come up with, with a new switch, um, a smaller switch with a low capacity of power to, to, to really reduce the, 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 the cost in this. So it's an eight port switch. And uh, if you see in the, in, the, in the specifications of the table, you see that if you look at the, 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 the most small switches that the power budget is different here. And um, I see there is an error in this slide. I will. Uh, because this switch is only AF, uh, so that's the big difference. If in the in the in the in the specification of the of the switches, so we have to keep, keep in mind this is the smallest switch, but uh, the the the, uh, the the PoE is only AF. That means that from here you can only on, on uh, power up the low end uh, access points. Okay, then the outdoor wireless management access points. Um, also in this, uh, in, in, in this uh, 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 category, we have uh, a new switch. Uh, we see that there is, a, uh, sorry, a new access point. We see there is a demand for uh, uh, even cheaper outdoor solution. So we will very soon have the EWS 650 which is a outdoor solution based on 2T2R uh, receiving uh, streams. Uh, it will be, this look the, uh, 
look the same, exactly the same as the 660, but there is a difference in the 3T3R and the 2T2R, uh, and the radio streams. So this product is going to be uh, very soon available. I think it's next month. So this is how it looks like. It's quite, actually it's quite big. Okay, I already have a big head, but this is even bigger. And um, yeah, this is for outdoor. If you compare with, um, with the um, 860, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, also quite, quite big. Only this one is uh, from ABS plastic. And this one has a metal housing, which also functions as the heat sink. So there is a difference. And this one is, uh, like you see, this is IP68, and this one is IP55. So there is a difference there. So depending on the, the requirements of your deployment, you have to choose the right access point here. If we go to the indoor um, access points, we see there is also um, a 350 uh, version, actually also 2T2R 11AC solution uh, coming soon to have more, because uh we think that all the dual band solutions will gradually move to 11 ac so 11 ac is going to be the standard so we decided to uh, extend our uh, product line of the 11 ac to make us ready for the future also what's very new is uh the edls 300 the edls 300 i don't even have it in my hand here but we will receive it uh, very soon, uh, I think even next week or something in our house. Uh, the 300 is, is a smaller access point, a smaller footprint to make it more uh, cost efficient. Uh, it's going to replace the 210, which is uh, the, the normal design of the old, uh, of, of, of the rest of the, the, of the, ser of the series. But, but the 300 will be more cost efficient and uh, to have a more entry level, um, solution in the lineup of the access points. Uh, also coming soon, but this will take maybe a, a one or two months more, is um, the EWS 500 series, 510 and the 500, where we have a single band and a dual band solution. Um, it's a very small actually. It's a uh, about 15 16 centimeters what is it and um, this is uh, le let me just go to the next slide it's a wall plate wireless management access point well these access points are specially designed for uh, hotel room deployments where or, or even classroom deployments where you have uh, where you want to have a managed access point capable to be uh, the connection point for all the network associated devices. So I have this drawing here um, uh, in this slide. And um, yeah, just to, 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 uh, to show you, the EWS management switch connected and powering the device, because of course this is PoE. And, um, this device supposedly has to be mounted on the on a wall, and so the connections are on the back side. If you look at the slide here, this may be more clear. Uh, the connections are on the back side. So the, the, this comes with a bracket that you have to screw on the wall, and you can click it in, and the connections, uh, the first connections uh, coming from the wall, will be uh, yeah will be connected on the back side. Furthermore, uh, yeah, so the other connections to the to the rest of the room are on the bottom if you hang it like this and uh, the deployment is 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 is, is uh, yeah this is an example how to deploy it so for for instance you can have the smart uh, mini bar connected uh, wired iptv uh, a wired client a uh, voip telephone or even if you have a uh, traditional telephone, 
there is this blue connection, which is uh, referring or directly connected to the blue connection on the back side. So you have a pass through to, uh, yeah, for instance, here, uh, connect to a native uh, PPX uh, installation. Of course, uh, there is a wireless access point on the inside to connect wireless clients. And like uh, in the specification table here, you can see that we have two different models here, one with a dual band solution and one with a single band solution. Uh, the access point can be this small because we actually um, make this a not high power capable device. And uh, we have a small radio because and small antennas because we uh, the, 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 the deployment where we want to uh, use this is to be only in one room. And based on this scenario, we decided to make it small. Uh, to, to just cover one room and in the next room you have another one if, and if the radio is not so strong they will not interfere with each other. So, so far uh, I'd like to summarize a little bit. Um, on the solution part we have um, uh, our Easy Mas uh, sorry, our Neutron series powered by Easy Master. We have Neutron switches working with our access points uh, both indoor, outdoor, and even uh, the, the, the wall plate, plate. And we have the Easy Master software on top. So, so far, up to here for the management solution, like I said, the next three coming webinars we will dedicate it to the Neutron series powered by Easy Master. So, to continue with our product line, I would like to go to uh, outdoor series. And Genius Outdoor Series uh, feature a dual radio uh, outdoor uh, station or endpoint access points, uh, typically designed for harsh uh, outdoor deployments based on dual radio infrastructure setups for uh, 5 gigahertz backhauling and 2.4 gigahertz uh, stations. Um, a secondary typical solution is a dual, dual radio endpoint access point for deployments with clients divided over 5 and 2.4 gigahertz. The, the, the ENH 1750 is, is uh, one of the first 11 AC outdoor access points with these uh, specifications. So it looks like this. Actually, this is a 900, but it's, it's, it's the same. The housing is the same. Like I said, it's, it's also the same design as the EWS 860. And um, yeah, metal. With, uh, with, with the, the housing also functions as a heat sink. It's IP68, quite strong, quite heavy actually to carry. And it comes with brackets and everything. The antennas are detachable. Uh, so standard, it comes with these antennas. It's a five uh, dBi antennas, but uh, uh, if needed, you can also uh, replace them with other antennas. For instance, if you have a directional deployment, then it would be possible to replace that. So the most typical uh, deployment, uh, like I said, uh, this one is uh, just a small example uh, where the ENH uh, 1750 XT is set up in uh, WS mode on 5 gigahertz. So you make the backhauling on WS and, and uh, it will have a transparent uh, connection to link the devices together. Um, and the end clients are connected to the 2.4 gigahertz endpoint access point. Um, I'm talking about WDS. Uh, there is also a future webinar uh, going to be dedicated to WS, uh, where we explain all the modes and how to deploy them. So, so far for here then, and, and, and if you want to know, then please find the next webinar, a future webinar to where we explain WS modes, if you want to know more about this. So, Lineup for the outdoor uh, devices. Uh, like I said, we have the ENH 1750, which is dual band on 11 AC. And uh, besides that, we also have uh, the 900, which has no 11 AC, but still dual band. We have the ENH 710 uh, uh, with 2T2R instead of 3T3R. And we even have an ENH uh, 220 EXT 
which only have a single band on the 2.4 gigahertz. So pretty much the footprint of the, the of the devices uh, is the same, but but based on different kind of radios, you can select your model uh, fitting uh, the, for the best fit in your deployment. So far for the the omnidirectional uh, IP68 um, devices, uh, we also have our ENS series and. Um, we started with the ENS uh, 1750, and these these two two are new, both of the models, and they uh, I think they're already available. Uh, they look like the EWS 660, and uh, so it's this shape, and um, it's a standalone 11 AC access point. And I really would like to um, point out one thing here because it kind of like look like in a directional panel antenna but actually it has oh this one is not open it actually has an, an internal uh, patch antenna which simulates a omnidirectional pattern so in this case even if, if this device looks like this it's still an omnidirectional uh, device so um, if you want to have a directional device you either have to choose uh, the other uh, ENH models, or you have to use um, the big ENH models and replace replace the antennas. But we have some more models as well, and that's going to be the next slide. So more outdoor models. It's a second level. It's a little uh, SMB series. Uh, for the SMB series, we have both uh, the ENH and the ENS uh, product lines. Um, all these are uh, single band uh, uh, devices and uh, you can choose to have a 2.4 or 5 gigahertz radio on single band. They are 300 Mbps on 2T2R and some models have internal uh, directional antenna or they have uh, external uh, omnidirectional antenna. And these uh, devices are um, uh, um, uh, have uh, multiple modes. You can use them as access point, you can use them as client bridge, client router, and many different uh, WS modes. And we even have a repeater function in the ENS series. And typically they're used into uh, for, for C as a CP, uh, as a customer premises equipment, or for bridge uh, solutions. Actually, uh, the most common uh, situation uh, what is uh, used where we use the, the, the ENH and the ENS series is into uh, the IP surveillance where we where the device is used in a point to point or point to multi point setup and uh, yeah it, you have the ENH in this case uh, is making bridges to the different cameras and in this case one a ENH is making the connection to the uh, other ENHs uh, where the cameras are. Another deployment is uh, client bridge. Of course, uh, it can be connected. Uh, in this case, we have a, a variation of the setup where we use an omnidirectional antenna uh, as an access point, and we have uh, ENH, uh, sorry, ENS as a client uh, to connect to the to the access point. So ENS looks like this is it's much smaller as, for instance, the the other Ian has the big one. So it, quite a big difference. Okay, the lineup of the devices. Like I said, we have ENH as a bigger bigger device. For Unfortunately, I don't have it here. It's a bigger device with a bigger antenna. So also you have to imagine that the, the, the range is a little further and, and on, because the antenna is bigger. And uh, we have the five, uh, 5 gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz radio. Um, I like to point out here that um, the general EU rules for 5 and 2.4 gigahertz are uh, different and uh, the standard rule is that uh, in 5 gigahertz you can go up to 30 dB uh, about if you talk about the output power while in the 2.4 gigahertz the maximum power is 20 dB. 
Um, so depending on your deployment, um, ENH, uh, sorry, uh, five gigahertz uh, will, is, is more uh, sensitive for uh, interruptions like trees. And, and uh, so for five gigahertz, um, line of sight is very critical to, to, to use. Uh, the 2.4 gigahertz radios are, are less vulnerable to this. Of course, they are sensitive for this, but less than the five gigahertz. So you have to see, uh, uh, depending on your deployment and your environment, um, which uh, uh, frequency is frequency band is best to use. So, but anyways, we have two models uh, available, the ENH500, and you can also see that the power settings, uh, the, the antennas are stronger because we can use higher power in, in, in Europe for the five gigahertz. So the ENS series, I already showed one here, and, and the other ones have the antennas on top. Uh, also here we have uh, 2.4 gigahertz and we have 5.4, uh, 5 gigahertz uh, uh, access points variations and one uh, variation with indoor antenna and one with external outdoor antenna. Okay, one also quite new model that we have on the outdoor series, it's the last outdoor model that we have, is the end station. Okay, I have one end station here. Actually, it's not so big dish. It looks like a dish, like a UFO. Um, this one has a um, also an antenna, directional uh, antenna inside. And um, it is uh, built with higher gain and a more narrower beam. Uh, the antenna is more and more narrow to... Um, to, to, to achieve longer distance, especially in point-to-point -point deployments. So, um, yeah, um, we have two different models in that. We have um, the end station two, and we have uh, the end station five. The two is 2.4 gigahertz, obvious, and the end station five is the five uh, gigahertz uh, variation of this model. So it's quite a small dish, it's quite light, so really for a uh, sweet point-to-point -point, uh, solutions, uh, it can be uh, very, uh, very useful, very cost efficient. Uh, it has a pole mount, which is uh, able to swivel all in all directions. Uh, it can be mounted on the pole, like I said, or you can just mount it on the wall. And then uh, you can put it like that. So like I said, we have two models, both available, uh, the station 2 and the station 5 and we are currently uh, finalizing the, the, the end station AC. And um, yeah, this is also a very interesting product, but uh, once the final specs are uh, released, then uh, we will give another additional uh, information shot about this. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a nice product because this is really, uh, the end station AC is really going to be uh, 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 more more better because this one has uh, uh, PoE, uh, real PoE and even PoE output. So especially for uh, 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 deployments where you have cameras, you can already power up uh, the, the camera through the access point. So this is the specification indicated here. So, so far for outdoor, uh, I still have a lot of access points here on my desk that I want to show you. Um, let's go inside, let's go indoor. Uh, for indoor, we have uh, actually three series. We have access points, uh, the EAP access points, we have ECB access points, and we also have still our EGS series, which is a series of gigabit switches. So the first series that I want to talk about is the EAP series. That is our traditional, our successful and historical, uh, good uh, award-winning uh, ceiling mount access points. Uh, it started uh, with this new design, like I have here, is, is uh, the UFO design, or how I call it, the ceiling mounts. Uh, these are the first released in, in, in 2012 actually already and uh, at that time it was uh, a red dot, it had a red dot design uh, award and um, 
yes, it's it's really uh, if evaluate, uh, evolving uh, the, the our traditional old uh, smoke detector design uh, devices. Um, yeah, so it has this, all these functions, band steering, client limitation, traffic shaping, data rate control, multiple SSIDs, and so on and so on. So typically to be used as a ceiling mount access point, um, the deployment is, uh, the, the, the antenna pattern is more like a, like a, like a ball, like a drop. Uh, it goes from top to bottom in an omnidirect, omnidirectional way. So perfectly to, to be mounted on the ceiling. Uh, typically used in office, uh, hospitality, and 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 uh, schools, uh, apartments, dorms, everywhere. Um, yeah, I just just want to go through the lineup. Um, there is one thing, like I said, we will uh, we will indicate where in some where there is something new. The whole series of the new design, the old design actually looks like this, and gradually the single band 2.4 probably is going to be phased out quite quickly since we see the trend is moving to at least dual band, but probably all to 11AC. So that's where we also have a new model that's called the EIP 1200. And uh, this is going to be here. So we have a 2T2R solution uh, uh under the eap3 uh, eap 7050 which is a 3t3r solution and our ceiling mounts you will see the same trend here and also in the ecb series so the ecb series are packed with 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 more modes and uh, detachable antennas so i have one ecb here actually it's a metal metal housing on the on the bottom also functions as a as a, a, a cooling a little bit as a cool cool uh, element um, this is the one with the six antennas like on the picture um, so to be used in more specific environments like industry or special cases uh, the antennas are detachable and the ECB uh, like I said much more modes than than the traditional uh, the ceiling mounts where we focus on the access point modes and, and the WS modes. But this one has also like client bridge, AP router, and, and, and other functions like that for, for special uh, occasions, special environments. You can detach the antennas to replace it or to put it in another place with a cable between. So these are more versatile um, devices to be used. You can just hang them, even you, just, you can move, even also put them on the wall or you can, uh, sorry, on the ceiling or on the wall, just screw them with the screw holes here. So this is uh, so far the ECB series. Like I said, different modes. Uh, you can use it as an standard access point. You can use it as a client bridge. You can use it as a repeater. You can use it as WS. So these are the more versatile. And if you look at the lineup here, we have a also new here, uh, the ECB 1200, which is going to be extending the 11AC part of uh, the, uh, the product line. So the last product uh, in the indoor series for uh, the Ingenious is uh, the PoE switches. Um, Ingenious, we have um, the our own PUE switches, and we have two reasons for that. First, is that all our indoor access points are PUE access points. So, uh, complementary to the indoor series, we have uh, uh, the, 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 the PUE switches to complete the line so you can buy the same series, the same brand. Uh, the second uh, solution uh, where we use the, EW, the EGS switches is our Neutron, the EWS, the Neutron series by Easy Master. Um, our EGS switches can be uh, complementary to the Neutron uh, solution because, um, like I explained, uh, one of the important features of the EWS is uh, that you can uh, first, you can see and recognize all this, uh, the, the, the EGS switches, but you can also easily go inside the switch to maybe turn off some PoE ports, 
to, to yeah, it, it will be part of the neutron management uh, series. Of course, you can still use third party uh, uh, switches or PV switches in the deployment. No problem with that. But of course, our ingenious software or ingenious controller, the ESMA, the, the neutron, cannot control them. But in, in, uh, if you use our EGS switches, these are also controllable. Uh, a third thing, actually, uh, for the future, uh, currently we are also developing an IP camera line, but uh, so far uh, it's not released uh, in fully yet. Uh, but in the future, our uh, IP cameras will also be PoE. So in this case, it can also be used in our PoE uh, uh, so IP camera setup. So just a lineup of the PoE switches here. Um, different models starting from the 8-port switch, which will loop, which looks the same as this, a small one, up to the 19-inch um, model with 48 ports. And uh, basically everything is uh, uh, gigabit. And in this slide, the PoE is, is correct. Uh, the small switches have AF um, uh, specification and the bigger switches are uh, on both AF and AT. So, so far for the, for the standalone, so just summarizing what we already had today is the solution, which is the Neutron uh, series powered by EC Master. And the, we have the standalone where we have the uh, EAP series, we have the ECB series, and we have the PoE switches. So the last series that we have, and I just want to go quickly over it, is our uh, SOHO line. And in the SOHO we have a uh, uh, one feature especially uh, special and that's the the personal cloud where uh, all our um, routers are uh, capable to be used with a few apps that we launched um, we have the end share we have the end view we have end talk and we have uh, end root and uh, so we have uh, our uh, uh, Soho line featuring this personal cloud feature. All the all the routers have a USB port. Um, the routes are uh, pre-configured and secured with the unique username and password, which you, you can change later, but it's already pre-configured. And you can have your own personal cloud hosted in your house, like uh, unlike uh, a Dropbox, which is somewhere in I don't know where cloud and, and or other service Google Drive or, or uh, uh, Microsoft uh, you will have the capability to use your USB connection to become your personal cloud in your house and if you don't want anyone to be able to access that then you can just disconnect your USB from your uh, from your router and you literally have all your information in your hand Okay, so with the USB, you can you can have this cloud server at home, and like I said, it's it's pre-configured even uh, to, to 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 plug and play, but it also have a pre-configured DDNS service uh, inside, so um, you can already no matter as long as the router uh, as long as the router uh, uh, has internet connection, the um, the the the, the you can access the router by the pre-configured DDNS server and service and, and your password. You can already go in there. And if you have an USB connected to it, you can already access the USB there. Um, so there are uh, Android and iOS apps with high integration to use this USB drive and this USB connection on your router. So, like I said, the apps, uh, we have NShare, which is the, 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 the apps, app to, uh, to, 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 to use the per, uh, your personal storage server. We have Antoc uh, Lite, which is the main function, and only one router has the, the full Antoc. Uh, Antoc Lite is a VoIP server to make a personal uh, VoIP for nine users, which are connected to your router. If you have 
the EPG 600, you can use full NTOC. Uh, then you can even have your own um, VOIP server at home using your PSTN line. So then you still require an additional PSTN line for that. Um, third app is the Enroute. It's an app for uh, to use uh, GPS logging and regis uh, register the data into the USB storage in your house again. And Enview is the last app. It's a central login for uh, Ingenious cameras over the Ingenious cloud. So uh, with uh, the Enview is, is is very easy to use, uh, especially if you use this uh, on the on the on the on the router. So the last slide of this presentation, just a lineup of, of our Soho personal cloud series. So we have the EPG 5000, ESR 600, ESR 350, which is entry level. And like I said, we still have the EPG 600, which have the full NTOC with the, with the PSTN line to become your own uh, VOIP server at home. And besides this, in this uh, product line, we have the EDS 1130, which is actually quite high-end camera uh, if you do, if you compare it uh, with with other uh, brands. And these are um, yeah, this is uh, the, the the camera that we have in our Soho line, which is 100% uh, compatible with uh, with uh, with, uh, so with the routers and the apps that we are having for this uh, uh, product line. So um, yeah, let's summarize it here. Maybe I'll just go back to the first slide in the beginning. So today we have talked about uh, an ingenious neutron solution powered by Easy Master. That's our solution where we have our switches, access point, and the software Easy Master on top of it. We have talked about the standalone outdoor indoor indoor series, and we have talked about the solar. So Finalizing this presentation here, um, you can post questions if you want. Uh, I don't know if there are any questions. No, there are no questions posted yet. You can post. I will keep the webinar over, open for a few minutes, and then you can post the questions. But you can also um, uh, send questions just directly to the email to webinar at ingeniousnetworks.eu. And um, yeah, um, I really would thank you for your attendance in this webinar, and I hope to see you in another one. So like I said, uh, the next three webinars uh, will be dedicated uh, to, the, to the Neutron series powered by Easy Master. Uh, so three webinars, and first we will, uh, will be a, a more detailed introduction into the features and benefits. Uh, the second webinar, uh, it will be hands-on where we will go through the interface and um, the third webinar will go in-depth to the individual features and how to deploy them, deploy them, deploy them. So please register for the, for the future webinars. Um, there will be a mailing out to, 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 with the full list of the webinars. And uh, yes, I really would like to thank you all for being here and I hope to see you in the next uh, webinar. So thank you very much and hope to see you soon.